Good evening everyone. As promised, this is part two of the Zoom B6 test series. Um, today I'm going to compare it to um, its predecessor, at least in my bag, that was the Zoom B3. And then we will start it up for the first time and do some basic stuff. And before we dig into more, next video I will cover the PC software that goes and the uh, goes along with it and the audio interface functions. Okay, let's start it up. Okay, so the screen comes up. All the lamps are tested. All right. So I think it's quite easy when you're used to the Zoom B3. So this is exactly the same functionality here. So you're controlling the three different patches that are in this uh, bank here, right? So you can activate and deactivate single effects. I think that's quite clear. The difference is Zoom B3, it has three of those, right? can see here we have three and but it's the same principle yes yeah? yes um, but here we have four and just this patch just has three activated that's why and within you can then go in and adjust settings here these knobs let's go into the next ones you go one up you're in the bank modus so that means you can now change the banks. It's very interesting. The banks are sorted according to type. So that's very nice. So you can see it starts with base amps one. Oops, sorry, wrong direction. Base amps two, three legends, whatever that means. We will have to discover that. Jazz funk, pop music, rock, UK rock, metal, art rock and metal, synth, synth 2, clean and drive, drive, fuzz and octava, octava, filter and wah, funk, EFX, modulation, tremolo, Pitch and soon delay one, delay two, SFX, acoustic, I guess that's what it means, basic, acoustic, bow and FX, hmm, I don't know, we will have to see. And then you see we have 97 banks and Within one bank, you can then go and select the patches. You can see patch up, patch down. So that's, I think, quite straightforward. But at the, at the first look, they are quite different to the ones that were uh, in the um, in the Zoom B3. All right, so let's let's go ahead. The next thing is the memory selection, so you can uh, store. Oops, sorry. See, I'm doing that for the first time as well. So you can see it's a touch screen, so you can actually. 
change them here as well. So that's very nice. Works very well. Yeah, then we have the looper mode. I think that's quite straightforward. Um, and here you can run the looper, record play, stop, undo, redo, and clear. Um, I've seen that the time for the looper is quite limited, uh, but um, you can extend this time when you use an SD card. That's something we will have to test out at some point. Today I just wanted to run through the stuff, right? So then... Okay, I'm lost a little bit here. What happened? Ah, there we are. Okay, good. Then we have here, we have a tab. You can see, then you can define the tab tempo. like quite straightforward and when you hold it it goes to the tuner let me quickly uh, pause the video and then I will just connect my base so that you can see how that looks okay here we go Very nice, I like that display. And I think you can swipe here. Let me just try that. Oh yeah, okay, so that's a different presentation. So what do you like more? That is more the old style, like it used to be on the B3. That's on the B3, you would hold that down and then And the these lamps here would then indicate and that's probably that style here. Oh. Okay, so that's up to your preference. Yeah, then there is the, the bypass here. That would bypass the whole um, effects loop. This would bypass everything, so the whole unit would be more or less only a DI box. And that is the normal state. And this is something then we will have to try out at some point. The DI emulations, a very special thing two tube emulations and two solid state. Yes, I think that's it for now. So oh, one thing that I uh, figured, you can see here the three, um, the three effects here. Uh, both, they all have a specific color like pink, blue, and yellow. And these displays here, they actually have the same color. So that's actually very neat. Okay, that's it for now. I'm sorry for the bad video quality. I'm really an amateur. Just trying out the stuff for the first time. I hope you don't mind. Please don't hesitate to get back to me with questions what you would like me to test.